Welcome back to JB Reviews. My name is Justin and we are sitting inside of a 2019 Ram 2500 and this will actually be the Bighorn package. So let's go ahead and jump right in. This is going to be a 2019 Ram 2500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4. Base price for a Bighorn is going to be $45,000 even. Now this is going to have the 6.4 liter Hemi and it's going to have an 8-speed transmission. These are going to be some of your standard features. The 373 rear axle is also going to be standard on this truck. And for your interior. And then for your exterior. And all the way up top, these are also going to be standard features for the exterior. Now, these are going to be your optional equipment. This truck was optioned with premium cloth bucket seats, 295. It does have that heavy duty snow plow prep group, 195. That's going to basically give you that 220 amp alternator transfer case skid plate also. This truck is going to have a 180 amp alternator standard on this truck. Now this was also equipped with that level 1 equipment group. There is also a level 2, but the level 1 is going to be 1995. It's going to come with those 18 inch wheels. They're going to be a polished aluminum look. You connect 8.4 inch display. It's going to have that Apple CarPlay, Google Android. And of course this package would give you the 4020 front bench, but this truck was opted to have that bucket seats up front. It's going to have that 3.5 inch cluster. It's going to have an 8-way power adjustable driver's seat, front fog lights, leather wrapped steering wheel, power adjustable pedals. So it's gonna have a power black trailer tow mirrors too. So of course you're gonna have that one year subscription for Sirius. And you're also gonna have an anti-spin differential rear axle too. Rear window defrosters, clearance lamps, park sense, front and rear, and remote start. $16.95 was destination. And this is not a bad price, you know, for Bighorn. It has a considerable amount of options. And it's only at 50,605. And just taking a look at around this interior too, you do have a dark gray, like a charcoal with like a tan. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Let me just show you the front of this interior too. I kind of like it. I like that it has a two-tone. Kind of adds a little bit of class to this big horn. And then out back, if you have the, if you, when you have the console, these are gonna be located a little bit higher, but we have the front bench. The, the AC vents are a little bit lower. You do have some storage right there. Now on this on this package, you do not have the USBs that they normally do come on the higher trim levels. But everything you've seen in my last videos is what you're going to see in this one. I mean, this this truck does have the 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 uh, storage on the floor. These seats. This is a 60/40 bench, and you're going to have hooks up top in the rear. And that's really it. I mean, this truck is pretty well equipped. Now, I will tell you, you did not see that this truck had the bed utility group. If you are planning on buying a truck, if you're gonna build it from the factory, make sure you add that option because that option does give you the LEDs for the rear bed. And it also gives you um, the spray and bed liner. And I believe it also gives you the, the, bed, the uh, deployable bed step also. I'll put that also in the comments too. So let's go ahead and jump out front and take a look at the interior. So as I mentioned, this is going to be your 8.4 display. Now, if you if you didn't notice, this did not have navigation, but you do have Apple CarPlay, so you would be able to use that on that system. So if you have Waze or if you want to use Google Maps, all that will pop up on this screen for the Apple CarPlay. So just keep that in mind. So of course you're going to have your XM radio that was an option. The 8.4 of course was an option on this truck. But if you did not opt for the level one package, you would get the five inch display, which would still have Bluetooth. You do not have climate control. And down below, you still have your, you know, your, your buttons for your traction control, tow haul, and then for your front and rear parking assist, which was also optional. Trailer brakes listed right here. Of course, you have your dial for your gear shifter, full drive system listed right there. 
you're going to have all your all your usual controls for your steering wheel and then all of your controls for your lights this does have power folding mirrors on a big horn I would like to point that out and every every light inside this interior is going to be a incandescent bulb too they do give you home link and they do give you lights for your vanity and this will be your I believe this was a three inch display for for your cluster too so just to kind of go through this we'll start from here actually let's start at number one they actually have it listed number one there it's 44 degrees outside so it's a little bit warmer than it normally has been and this right here you if you scroll to the right this will change it to kilometers actually let me change that back so I don't confuse people now this is going to be your vehicle info coolant trans oil and it's gonna be oil pressure oil life brake voltage it's gonna give you pretty much a, a summary for all your gauges engine hours and this is gonna show your your tire pressure monitoring and then back to your coolant now this is gonna be for your fuel economy now they do give you like a trip A and a trip B on the previous truck in this in the fuel economy tab they only gave you one from what I remember so you can actually kind of set these accordingly it shows you your range and if you want to reset you just hit the right arrow and it'll, it'll reset that now this is gonna be for your trip now this is trip A and you have a trip B and if you if you scroll to the right again it'll take you right back to trip A and then this is for your trailer tow and then this just shows you the gain for your trailer brake if you have it connected there and then this will show you basically the distance that you've towed your trailer on this truck also and then it's going to take you back to audio if you have any messages stored like if you have a check engine light if you have a bulb out some of those kind of messages will come up there and if you want to set up the screen you do have that option this does have a really nice display too i would like to point out on the tradesman it had more of like a older style design but even though the screen's a little bit smaller than what you can get in the laramie and above this is actually a really nice setup for this system really nice and I, I even like the way the gauges look too i mean even though this is a big horn it's not a the big horn is probably i would say a, this is considered a luxury truck in my opinion i mean you still get a lot of nice features so if you're in the market for a big horn this is actually a really nice truck i mean i i believe you can get a sunroof on the big horn and there's just so many different things that this truck has that makes it a little bit more upscale so let's go ahead and take a look on the outside. But before we do that, let me just show you your box. You have a box up top, and of course you have your glove box below. And then your center console, because you did opt this to have the center, the, the bucket seats, you will get the bigger center console. You have a USB located there inside the, inside the glove box, inside of the uh, center console here. You have two handles, one there, one here, and you have a really deep, area inside of here too you can see that in there i think they give you a light a little led light if you can see that right there so they do give you light inside of this glove box too and of course this is going to slide forward and back place to put your phone they give you two usbs now these are your your normal style usbs these top USBs are type these are called type C USBs I believe now the I when I did some research on these these actually will charge your phone a little bit quicker so if you do want to find a cord to charge your phone those will actually do the job a little bit quicker now you do not have that wireless charge on this truck but that is an option on higher trim levels and this is going to be your 6.4 liter Hemi Have your halogen fog lights, parking sensors, halogen headlights. 
you can get LED headlights on the Bighorn package as an option. Now, the last time I did my video, I made a comment that this piece here would look different with the holes. This is called a radius arm. This actually was actually weight reduced. This is a steel part for the suspension. And they poke those holes inside to kind of save weight for the suspension there. Now, although they poke those holes in there, I wonder if water and dirt can get inside those holes and kind of corrode that out. So I, I kind of wouldn't have, I would have liked to see them maybe put some holes below this too, unless it really messed with the structure of it. But just wanted to point that out because last time I said, I didn't know what that was, so I wanted to kind of point it out to you this time. So this does help save some weight on the truck. As always, we have to put the mirrors in tow mode. Now your, your clearance lamps up top are gonna be LED. That's what the truck looks like with the tow, tow mirrors out. And these are going to be your 18 inch wheels too. They come with Firestone tires. 275, 70, 18. because this is a three-quarter ton, you're gonna have a four-link coil suspension in the rear. And then this is your front suspension. Here's the back. You will not have a dampened tailgate on this, on this particular model, but you do have a backup camera. And then there's your ramp badge. And there's your Bighorn badge. You have rear parking sensors out back. Now your license plate lights will be LED in the in the rear. So keep that in mind. Every bulb is going to be incandescent bulb inside this housing. They do give you a clear, kind of like a clear bulb for your turn signal to make it look more, just to give it more of a cleaner look too. Unfortunately, it was really windy the day I did this video, but the front gross axle weight rating is going to be 5,500 pounds. The rear is going to be 6,390 pounds previous generation was 6,500 pounds, so it's down just slightly there. Now this truck does have a gross vehicle weight rating of 10,000 pounds. So for this truck, you're gonna have a 3,103 pound payload capacity. If you are planning to tow a trailer, this wouldn't be a bad truck to, to consider. If you wanna tow a fifth wheel, I'd probably try to stay around 13,000 pounds. You want to try to keep your pin weight at about two to, probably, I would say the most at 2,500 pounds. And I would definitely opt to get a 410 axle. This, this will give you more pulling power. And of course the 410 is going to give you more towing capacity too. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope it was helpful. If so, please make sure you smash that like button and I'll leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching.